Hello everyone. Let's start our new lecture series and it is on statistical thermodynamics. The other names of this chapter are statistical mechanics or for the chemistry students it's also known as the chemical statistics chapter. In the first lecture today uh, I'm going to start from mathematical probability, thermodynamic probability and the concept of macrostate and microstate. What is the definition of statistical thermodynamics or statistical mechanics? The discipline which deals with the computation of the macroscopic properties of matter from the data on the microscopic properties of individual atoms or molecules is called statistical mechanics or statistical thermodynamics. What does it mean? It means that it is the actually the link between quantum mechanics and classical thermodynamics. Suppose you've got to find the temperature of the system. So how does the temperature of the system uh, constitutes? It is actually the external manifestation of the uh, overall vibrational energy, rotational energy, translation energy of the molecules. So these types of um, properties of the individual atoms or molecules constitute the macroscopic, microscopic property of the atoms or molecules. Okay. So if you collect this whole data, and then compute the macroscopic property that is the temperature in this regard the overall study this is known as the statistical thermodynamics so let's begin with the concept of probability and first of all we have to take into consideration the mathematical probability what is known as the mathematical probability if an event can happen in p ways and fail to happen in q ways and if each of these ways are equally likely, then the mathematical probability m should be p by p plus q for the event to happen. And for the event for failing to happen is q by p plus q. Let's celebrate this with the example of a coin. Suppose you are tossing a coin, then uh, the probability of, there are two types of probabilities, head, one head and one tail. So the probability of happening that event is 1 by 1 plus 1 2 and not happening in is also 1 by 1 plus 1 2. So half is the mathematical probability of happening and also simultaneously for not happening. Now next move on to the next uh, uh, topic which is known as the thermodynamic probability. So what is the thermodynamic probability? In the distribution of particles in a given microstate there may be quite a large number of microstates. That means if you are tossing a coin then the number of macrostate is one okay this is one phenomenon which is taking place that you are tossing the coin now two types of probabilities are there either head or the tail so there are two microstates so the thermodynamic probability of that event is two so the number of microstates corresponding to any given macrostate is called its thermodynamic probability and it is denoted by W. So W must be equal to P plus Q in the previous example. So let's give some more examples other than the tossing of a coin. In case of a coin, if you toss it, the mathematical probability should be half and thermodynamic probability should be two. If, a, if you are throwing a single die Okay, so each face, it, it has total six faces and each has been numbered from one to six. Each face can happen. Uh, there are six probabilities and each of them can happen for one time. So the mathematical probability, that is the probability for the event to happen is one and for the event for not happening is Five. So the mathematical probability M should be 1 by 6 for happening the event. And what is the macrostate? The macrostate is that you are throwing a die, single die. And corresponding to that macrostate, what is the overall number of microstates? There are six probabilities 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the thermodynamic probability of that event to happen is 6. Now, if you take two dice together, 
and throw them together. Then you try to imagine how many types of uh, events can happen. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, this way up to 1 plus 6. Now turn for 2, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 2. This way you can constitute 36 number of events that can take place or that can happen. So simply the mathematical probability of each event for happening is 1 by 36 and the thermodynamic probability is simply 36 that is p plus q is that clear hope it is clear to all of you now let us elaborate this with some more examples we have to apply our this concept into distributing the particles in different energy states suppose you are taking four particles you have four particles a b c and d and you have to distribute them in a system where the overall energy that is the total energy which is 4 epsilon but each energy level is discrete or it is quantized that is each energy level should have energy epsilon okay that is the ground state has zero the first excited state has energy epsilon the second excited state has energy twice epsilon this way the energy levels are quantized or discrete this way you can have maximum or at a constant 4 epsilon of energy for the system then what is the probability what is the thermodynamic probability what is the macros uh, mathematical probability what can be the number of macrostates what can be the number of microstates for each corresponding macrostate in order to do that we have to first consider these all particles as non-distinguishable or indistinguishable they were a b c d but right now we are considering them to be simply four similar particles that means the particles are indistinguishable okay then you can arrange them into five macro states so that its total energy should be always 4 epsilon how is that possible let us see here are the picture of the five macro states these are all macro state not micro state these are all macro states okay in short i am abbreviating them as ms so this is macro state one two three four and five if you put one particle on the fourth excited state then its energy should be 4 epsilon then you cannot give any more energy or input any more energy to any particle rest of the particle of the system so you must have to put them in the ground state where the energy is zero so that the overall energy of that system should be for epsilon so the condition is fulfilled so this is one of the probabilities and this is one of the macro states afterward you have to uh, impose the condition of their distinguishability and then rearrange them this way you can find out the or calculate the number of micro states okay now another probability put one of the particles in the third excited state so that its energy is 3 epsilon so 1 is left in our hand 3 plus 1 equal to 4 so let us put one particle in the first excited state so that the overall energy should be 3 epsilon plus epsilon equal to 4 epsilon and the rest of the two particles must be on the ground state so the overall energy is 4 epsilon so here also in this type of arrangement the condition of 4 epsilon to be the total energy is also being fulfilled afterwards we have to impose the condition of the distinguishability similarly two particles in the second state excited states two in the ground state overall four one in the second excited state 
two in the first excited state and one in the ground state over L4 and finally each of them are placed in the first excited state epsilon plus epsilon plus epsilon plus epsilon equals to 4 epsilon these are the overall five microstates let us calculate the number of microstates and in order to do that we have to take the help of a mathematical formula w is equals to n factorial over n0 factorial n1 factorial n2 factorial dot 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 n i factorial now what about them okay what about this n and what about this n0 n1 etc n is the total number of particles in our case this is 4 and n0 n1 n2 are the different part number of particles in the different energy states n0 is the number of particles in the ground state and similarly n1 n2 n3 and n4 are the number of particles in the first second third and fourth excited states respectively so this is the product so if you combine them this will give product over i in i factorial okay so this is the mathematical formula so as for example let's consider our first microstate in that case n is always 4 so 4 factorial is always on the numerator but in the denominator in the ground state we had three particles and in the four, fourth excited state we had one as a result what is the value of w w should be 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 0 factorial into 0 factorial into 0 factorial into 1 factorial and the result is 4 so 4 types of um, probability probabilities are there okay let us see here is the number of microstates corresponding to the first macrostate look here instead of n factorial we have put here 4 factorial instead of n0 factorial we have put here written here 3 factorial and so on okay this is giving the result 4 and look what about this 4 number of micros, mac, microstates this 4 number of microstates are a on the top floor then b c d on the ground floor okay second time b on the top floor a c d on the ground floor this way a b c and d all are enjoying the their residence on the top floor okay so these are the four microstates so the thermodynamic probability of this microstate is four okay similarly if we put the formula and also try to arrange them then we can calculate out that the number of macro state micro states corresponding to macro state 2 is 12 okay and here is the picture where all the 12 mic micro states are shown look here in the three probabilities a on the top floor that on the, on the third floor not top floor in the next three probabilities b on the next uh, third floor okay in the next three c on the third floor and the, in the last final three d on the third floor but why three one two three a a a a on the third floor a on the third floor a on the third floor and what about the three uh, microscopic distribution when a is on the third floor then b c and d each of them are residing on the first floor every time when b on the first floor then c and d on the ground floor when c on the first floor then b and d on the ground floor this way all the 12th number of microstates are obtained similarly we have to calculate the number of microstates in microstate number three it is six okay look at the picture if you uh, want to uh, understand in uh, or take the note of this thing then take the screenshot okay and for macro state number four it is 12 
and for matrix number five it is one okay so just you take the screenshots of these slides and draw them in order to understand them more clearly now move on to the condition of equilibrium when an equilibrium of a system is reached you know about the term entropy so when the entropy is maximum then the system is at equilibrium so there should be some connection of entropy with the value of w if thermodynamic probability is maximum then the system has the maximum disorderness so this is the uh, this is the um, position or this is the distribution where the system is most comfortable that is it is the most stable having highest disorderness that is highest value of thermodynamic probability okay and that condition is the condition for equilibrium so at equilibrium w must be maximum at equilibrium w must be maximum hence its natural log is also maximum and when it is maxima then its differential is zero so dw is zero as well as dl and w is also zero so these are the conditions of equilibrium okay and in the previous example macrostate 2 had maximum number of microstates as well as macrostate 4 also had maximum number of microstates these are both of them had 12 number of microstates so either macrostate 2 or macrostate 4 are the most stable microstates okay so now it's your turn okay try a system having four coins of rupee 1 rupees 2 rupees 5 and rupees 10 where three coins are tossed together at a time you have to find out the probable number of microstates and then to calculate the corresponding number of microstates so we have to do it yourself try to calculate this if you have any problem to find out the result then give your email id in the comment box then i will send you the answer but i have written the answer below here the answer should be there should be four number of microstates okay and each macrostate has eight number of corresponding microstates that means each macrostate has a thermodynamic probability eight okay so this is the answer you try to tally this ans answer with yours answer if it doesn't match then just drop me your mail id okay so that's all for today thank you